Hi! You may have noticed I'm using Wim as my text editor and recently I got a comment from a viewer asking me if I could do a video about my Wim configuration and how I use Wim and I thought hey why not, it's probably a good idea so here is a video about my Wim configuration. So I'm using Wim for six years now as my preferred text editor of choice. And it's actually quite funny because when you go back to early videos, my channel is also about six years old now, you can see my Wim learning curve a little bit. So I think in my first video I've uploaded, I didn't use Wim, I used Genie. But then in the third or so I start using Wim and you could see I wasn't very good at it at this point. I think I even navigated using the arrow keys and not using J and K and H and L. And, but I think I got better over time. So now you can see I'm using some of the UI features, jumping to words or jumping or replacing something within braces, all the cool thing which makes Wim so great. So learning Wim was, yeah, not the easiest learning curve, but I think it was totally worth it and I'm quite happy I've mastered it to some degrees. Okay, but now let's talk about my Wim configuration. So on my Raspberry Pi this video will be now over because I'm just using the default um, yeah, com Wim configuration on my Raspberry Pi. I don't think I have a Wim RC here. No, I don't. Oh, I have to list the hidden files, but no, here is no WimRC, so I'm just using the default one. But here on my main system are the comment of the viewer referred to videos which I have done um, here on my main PC over my from my A4R advent calendar, and there I was using a Wim with a custom config, and so let me show you this custom config. So let me open up my WimRC. So the first things are quite easy. Um, here I'm enabling the numbers to be displayed on the left hand side and here I'm enabling the relative numbers. So here I can have a three and then from, so this is a line number the three and everything down and up is a relative number. And the cool thing is for example, if I want to delete everything until this blank line here, I directly see, okay, I have to delete two plus one, so three lines, and I can just go three dd, and then it's gone. So this is what makes relative numbers cool here. So here I'm setting the encoding of the file, which is utf8 here. Here I'm setting my spell language to German, because I'm also using Wim to edit some documents in which I need spell checks, and as my mother tongue is German, I'm setting it here to German. Sometimes I think I've modified this so I can use two languages, which is also quite useful sometimes. Okay, these keys are very important if you're editing something um, or documents which breaks one line, because normally if you would press J or K, you would jump to the next line. But if you have a wrapped line, um, it's a little bit harder to navigate and with G or yeah, maybe let me show you this. So if I'm doing it this way, for example, here we have a wrapped line and by pressing J, I will just go to the next cursor position, but not to the next line, which would be line number 12 here. And this is why I'm using these keybinds here. The next two maps are a little bit interesting. So I want to be able to toggle um, the line numbers. So for example, if I want to copy paste something into a browser and I would do this, I would also copy the line numbers, which is not very convenient. So I can deactivate the um, line numbers by pressing comma and N. And yeah, I think this is pretty cool. And then here I'm mapping F5 to the spell check. So when I press this, I can automatically see all the spelling mistakes I've made. Also not bad. So yeah, syntax is enabled, so it automatically detects the syntax of my open file. So if I have a C file, I will get C highlighting. And yeah, I'm also using um, the indent plugin 
I use autoident and smartident, which helps me when I'm writing C code, I'm already indented correctly. Okay, here, <laughs> this I think I have just copied from another WimRC, I never used it. So yeah, here I'm remapping caps lock to escape, because the escape key is so much up at the keyboard. No, it, it's on mine it's actually not, but some prefer to have the um, yeah caps lock key to yeah, emulate the escape key, but as I already told you, I'm not using this quite often, or maybe never. Okay, this here is, is a little bit interesting. So, when I'm writing larger documents, I sometimes use this symbol here as a placeholder, If and if I'm tapping comma two times, I'm automatically jumping to my next placeholder. So yeah, maybe let's give it a shot. This is a test. Then here I'm adding my placeholder and here I go on. And now if I hit escape and comma two times, I'm jumping directly to my placeholder, removing the placeholder and I can type something in, which is quite convenient. And now for C programming, we would be already done, but I'm also using, or uh, yeah, I'm using LaTeX quite often, I used it more in the past when I was at universities, I had to write more fees, my thesis my, and some papers or documents and I was using LaTeX all the time. Nowadays I'm normally using it for my presentations, but yeah, maybe I write three or four presentations a year, so it's not so much. But yeah, here I've also created some shortcuts for me. Um, which makes everything a little bit more easier. And yes, so let me open up a LaTeX document and let me show this to you. The only thing is I have to find one. Mm, yes, maybe let's take a look at my resume. Oh, well, this is a little bit too personal, maybe. Uh, <laughs> yes, Linux driver tutorial sounds great. So here we have a lot of presentation and for example if I want to add a new section all I have to do is I have to type comma sec and then it will create a new section for me and by hitting comma two times I'm automatically jumping to my next placeholder or for example if I want to have a new frame all I have to do is type comma and frame and hey here I have the prototype for adding a new frame and my cursor is automatically um, at the frame title thing here. So yeah, this is just making my life a little bit more easier when handling with LaTeX and I don't have to remember all the constructs. And with this placeholder jump, it's also quite convenient to move through a document or to jump something to something I haven't filled out yet. Yes, and when I take a look back at my WimRC, you see that's almost it here. I only have just a lot of things for LaTeX. These tools are very convenient too, because here with comma C I'm compiling the document and with comma V I'm opening it with my PDF viewer, which is also quite nice. And the last thing I have here in my WimRC is this part here, which I just copied from the default WimRC. So when I'm opening a file, I'm jumping back to the last non cursor position. So if I'm, I'm now in line 61, if I'm closing the file and I'm reopening it, I'm still in line 61. Yeah, so that's also quite convenient for me. Okay, so this was a very short introduction to my WimRC and what, how I have configured it. I hope you've liked it. If you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com. So thanks for watching and goodbye.